I'm very happy right now. Hey everybody, it's Chris. Here I am, Queen Anne's County Animal Services. And as you can tell, I've got a kitten. And this is the happiest day of my life. This is Red. Red is four, four, five weeks old. And you know what Red needs? Red needs a foster. Because it's kitten season and these little guys are coming in like gangbusters. Look, yes, I know, I know. So if you'd like to be a foster, we're going to talk to Brittany here to find out how you can foster someone like Red. Did you hear that? Brittany, come on in. I'm so excited. I'm shaking. I'm so happy. This is the happiest day of your life. I love this. It is. The it smile is. on your face is what every foster will have when they foster kittens. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So, so, yeah, so it's kitten season. It is kitten season. And we're in the heat of it, as you were mm -hmm. saying. No, no pun intended. And these little guys, you guys, you have them coming in daily. Oh, yeah. So you need people to foster. And you said bottle feeding, which we might be doing soon, actually. Yep. Oh, my goodness. We have, we have kittens every Good. shape, yes. size, <laughs> personality coming mm -hmm. in daily. Okay. We have everything from your easy peasy, your, like, you know, five, six, seven-week-old guys that can mm -hmm. feed themselves. Um, and you just need to play with them and socialize them. Or we have a little more work, which will need a bottle feed. Um, we also have our sicky kittens with upper respiratory that we need fosters for. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you've never bottle fed before, it's fun the first time. And then you get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll teach you everything you need to know. Well, at this age, so your little newbies, so one week, two week, your neonates, they normally eat every two to four hours. Um, so yes, at one o'clock in the morning, you are getting up to feed a kitten. Uh, but by the time you hit Red's age, he's just about five weeks, so he's eating probably every four to six hours. Mm -hmm. um, so he's, he's a little bit easier. Okay. So he should start weaning to wet kitten food soon. Um, normally they start weaning to eat on their own probably around like the five, six week mark. Okay. So and he, how much will he generally eat? Will he just keep eating until he's like he's full? Well, technically he should eat 15 mLs each time, like around 15 mLs each time he eats, and there mm -hmm. are the little like measurements on there. Mm -hmm. um, He's being finicky right now, but once he gets that bottle, and at this age, he'll tell you, when he's done, you either need to burp him, because he's a baby, um, and then he'll eat again, or he's ready to nappy. What I love about this, I love neonates, that's what I foster. Um, at this age, I basically put them in a cat carrier, and they go everywhere with me. They, the cat carrier stays on my nightstand. When they cry, I wake up, I feed them, and then they go back to bed. Mm -hmm. So this is a really easy, easy age, to me anyway. So. I'm in my happy place. My happy place is one of the rooms where there are, hold up, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, kids. Bruce? 13. Lucky number 13. Can you get out of my shot? We're trying to sell the goods. How? can people go about contacting you to foster and or adopt? They can definitely go on our website. Mm -hmm. All of our info is there from our adoption application, our foster application, our phone number, our email. But if you want to foster, please call me. Um, our phone number is 410-827-7178. You'll talk to one of our staff members, tell them you want to foster. We'll take all your info. So when purring little babies walk in the door, we'll call you and let you know. Um, if you want to submit the app, that's fine as well. Then our volunteer coordinator will give you a call. Um, email us, walk in the door. You can do a carrier pigeon as long as you want to foster and get a hold of us. <laughs> uh, and we do supply everything. So all of the toys, treats, bedding, any supply you need for the kittens, we supply everything. And the same for the medical. So fosters will bring in their kittens every couple weeks for vac vaccines, deworming, stuff like that. Okay. So we provide everything. All you have to do is have the home, the love, and socialize them. So it sounds like you have no reason not to come here and foster one of these adorable kittens. Check out the phone number, check out the website, get in here, foster these adorable little guys and gals. All right, I'll take that one. <laughs>